Welcome back everyone, Cleo here. Recently I've gotten an extreme green controller that I've been really wanting for a while, and it's in great shape, and when I bought it, the seller told me, I bought it online, he said that, oh, it's really great shape, still very usable, I've only used it to play Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and the joystick is fine. Well, the joystick's not fine, I can go completely side to side with no resistance, up and down, it has a lot of travel. It still springs back a little bit, and down, up not so much. But it's it's not playable condition. I would never play with this, and I'm honestly going to be surprised if I plug this in and it registers anything at all left to right. So, in my last video, I promised you I was going to take apart a joystick, and I was going to heat up the gears and push them together and see how well that worked. Well, I filmed that video, and I wasn't really happy with it, because I heated it up, I didn't do a good job of it, and the gear teeth kind of just melted. And so, there's a lot of play in it, and it kind of grinds, I doubt you can hear it, but it grinds up and down because I melted those teeth worse than the other ones, and it just didn't turn out very well. So... I decided the next step was go to Kitchbent. I've heard things about them, I've never personally tried them. And I ordered everything I could. They were out of bowls, but they had the clear joysticks, which I thought might be kind of cool with that. So we're going to see how that looks. And then we got the gears. And I've heard mixed things about these. I've heard that the teeth sometimes don't line up right and it kind of grinds when you move them around. But I figured, for as cheap as they are, I'll get some. And if I like them, I'll get a lot of them and keep them just in case because I might have one or two more controllers that would benefit with these if these turn out to be good. And I have a lot more that anything's better than nothing. So I'm going to take this apart. I've already taken out all the screws. We're going to take out the joystick, replace the gears, and we're going to see how well it works. And there we are, joystick is now removed. A lot of play. So it's probably going to be very dirty inside. And again, to remove the joystick, you just have to push up those two tabs. Hold this front down because it's spring loaded. And that is a lot of gunk. So I'm going to take a moment. I'll be right back. I'm going to clean out all this gunk. So now I have all the dust cleaned out of this bowl. And it looks hopefully good enough to use. So I'm going to take out two gears. Hopefully I get one of each. There's the top one. Bottom one we can put back in. We can put in this circuit board. Line it up. Alright, got the right gear. I'm going to pop out both this gear and the joystick. Because I want to use a clear one now. So I'll get a clear joystick out. Get on through. You've got to put the gear on, push it down, twist it so it locks in place. Then the gear goes towards the top. Make sure that's lined up. And since I'm going to hope this works, I'm going to take my grease and just put a dab on. Now this is where we learn if this actually works. Need to line up the joystick right though. Make sure 
sure it's all lined up. There we go, that should be it. There we are. That's a lot tighter. Still a bit loose. I'd give it maybe an 8 out of 10. But I can definitely use this. Wait. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Well, I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to clean these up because that's really dirty. If you can see that. That's supposed to be green and that's kind of brownish. So I'm going to clean that all up. I'll probably take out the buns, clean those all up, put this together, and I'll be right back with you. Alright, so the controller is now completely clean and ready to assemble. And there we are. I actually kind of like the color of that joystick. Looks kind of cool. So, I have the controller we just together. And I also put kitchen bent parts in this controller. Just the gears, though I don't have a kitchen bent bowl and I don't have a kitchen bent snake in this one. So first, the extreme green. Moves around just fine. Feels a bit heavier than the OEM stick, but it's not bad, it's not really that noticeable. The only problem I found with this is if you go just slightly down, it catches and it moves down continuously. Doesn't do that any other direction. Doesn't do it with this stick either. Just this one. So I'm not sure what's causing that, it might just be dust in the sensors. But overall it's a good controller and definitely going to get a lot of use out of it. This Atomic Purple one that I did feels actually a lot like an OEM stick. The gears don't feel like they're bounding at all. It throws around and bounces back just like you'd expect an OEM stick to. So I think for two dollars, because that's about what I have into these, I think for two dollars this is worthwhile to invest your money in. The only issue I found was shipping took about from start of purchase to getting it in my mailbox took about four weeks and I only live I believe five states away from the seller and part of that is due to the US Post Service losing my mail but about two weeks of that was the seller not putting the stuff in the mail and just waiting for a tracking number from him. So you're going to be waiting a while if you buy these parts, but it's cheap and it's definitely worth the wait if you don't want to invest in something more expensive like the steel sticks I have in these, because those were, I want to say about 30 a piece and then another, another few bucks for the tips. So it's less expensive than that. It It works about the same. The Seal 6 just have a better feel. But it's definitely worth it just for an everyday player that doesn't care too much about feel and just wants something that will work without breaking the bank. Here I've laid out each piece. The new ones from Kitch Vent are on the top and the old ones from the controllers are on the bottom. So the joysticks, you can see Kitch Vent has that nice little ring around like these New, these old ones do, although it's not as pronounced, and there's not that hole in the center. The tips look about even, except one's clear, and they seem to be really good replicas. As for the gears, I'll only show you one set of these because it's about the same both ways. If I can get this to focus. You can see that they're not as stretched out, but they look about on par with the factory gears. And that's not what I was led to believe when I was researching these. I thought, I believe these were going to be a lot worse. There's going to be flash all over and it's going to be an absolute nightmare trying to get these to work. Let's see if I can get that to focus. 
There we go, that's a little bit better. So yeah, they're definitely better shape than I expect them to be. And for about a dollar for a pair, it's really not that bad. And I probably will buy more. Just because I can't really get a huge stack of steel sticks right now, so... And I can't get replacement gears either. So for the time being, these will hold over nicely. Actually, I will show you these ones. Because I think they did a really good job getting the sizes so close. Get a focus in there. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I like. I hope you like the comparison between a few different things. And if you want to see more, like, share, subscribe, and give me suggestions if there's anything specific you want to see. I realized during editing that my camera shifted for the testing portion, and so you couldn't see the controllers I was talking about. So up top, we have the two controllers that I put kitsch bent parts in, the extreme green one and the atomic purple one. This one kept the OEM stick and seems to function nicely. This one I use the kitsch bent stick and it's a little bit slower returning top and bottom especially. Side to side it's not that bad but it's definitely okay for a fourth person controller. These two are the ones that I put steel stick bulls in and they have really tight OEM gears and the caps I was talking about are these little color coded tops and there's the green one too. So if you want to see a video on these ones specifically, a teardown or anything, let me know. They have steel bowls inside. I believe I pointed out the bowl on this controller in the last video, but I can make a separate video for that. So just let me know what you want to see and like, share, comment, subscribe.